I was stunned, absolutely stunned. Tonight, new bombshell allegations against the now former deputy director of Milwaukee's Election Commission, Kimberly Zapata, fired Wednesday after city officials say she used the public MyVote website to request three military absentee ballots using fake names and sending them to the home of State Representative Janelle Branchin. The Menominee Falls lawmaker first reported receiving the ballots Monday, sharing these pictures and asking authorities to investigate, saying, quote, I believe someone was trying to point out how easy it is to get military ballots in Wisconsin. I will not accept, I will not tolerate, and I certainly will not defend uh, any uh, misrepresentation by a city official uh, involved in elections. Tonight, Milwaukee's mayor says Zapata admitted to the act and he immediately fired her. It's unclear why Zapata picked Branchin, but Branchin chairs the Assembly Elections Committee and has long criticized the state's absentee ballot process, even calling for Wisconsin's 2020 presidential results to be decertified. Zapata has worked for the city's election commission for seven years. How can you be sure at this moment she has done nothing else within the past seven years or within this past election cycle? So up until this point, we have had never had any indication of any type of violation of work policies or procedures. We, of course, will be taking an extra look at that. Zapata, who became deputy director this summer, would have helped oversee the city's central count locations where absentee ballots are processed. Has she handled any absentee ballots? City officials tonight only answering a few questions. Prosecutors now say she'll likely face criminal charges in the coming days. Matt joining us again in the newsroom. Now, city officials tonight say they believe Zapata was attempting to expose what she saw as a problem. And that's with those military ballots. By state law, military voters are not required to register to vote, and they are exempt from having to provide a photo ID. Now, a criminal and internal investigation both underway, Toya, at this hour. Matt Smith reporting live in the newsroom. Thank you.